Let's go. Today marks the beginning of the 84th annual Texas Relays. It's five days of track and field events at the University of Texas. It brings roughly 40,000 visitors to Austin. Most of those attending are African American, and in years past, they complain that Austin doesn't roll out the welcome wagon. KXN's Reagan Hackleman joins us live from Highland Mall, where a large crowd is expected there this weekend. Reagan? Well, Robert, that crowd is expected to be so big that Austin police will actually be setting up a command center here in the mall's parking lot. Now, two years ago, Highland Mall started a huge controversy when they decided to close early during the Texas relays. Now, besides the mall closing early, two bars downtown also did not open during the weekend. Many said those decisions hurt Austin's reputation with African Americans. Now the question is, have things changed? Texas Relay Weekend 2008. This is video from inside of Highland Mall. A large crowd of mostly African Americans gets a little rowdy. The next year, Highland Mall announces it will close early to avoid a repeat. Many in Austin's black community were outraged. Since then, Austin's NAACP President Nelson Linder says Austin's black community has worked hard to better the city's reputation among African Americans. But he says there is still work that needs to be done. There's going to be some question marks, some skepticism, and also some doubt about how folks are treated here. And there is an undercurrent of negativity in Austin about relay crowds. We found several comments on Twitter today, including from someone who saw a bouncer downtown wearing a shirt that said, the Texas relays are coming, and then had a picture of a man running away. Someone retweeted that and added, ATX peeps, get out now. Actually, our... our um Arrests are lower than they are for some of the other major events. Last year, APD made 18 arrests on the Friday and Saturday night of the Texas relays in the downtown area. Sixth Street gets so crowded that APD usually has to close down downtown exits on I-35. But police say the crowds don't really cause a problem. It's a well-behaved crowd that comes out to have fun. And um, um, we don't have many issues with it other than the traffic. Now, Highland Mall, which is under new management, told us they will not be closing early this year. However, they have hired more security guards to patrol the mall during this weekend. Now, we also know of one bar downtown that will not be open this year. They tell us, however, they close every year during this time for a retreat. Now, the city says that all of the crowds from the Texas Relays actually brings about $8 million into all.